Hydrogen is absorbed on many metal surfaces by dissociation. If the pressure of H2 is small, the fraction of the surface covered by hydrogen is proportional to. The options are shown here. Here the hydrogen molecule is absorbed on the metal surface is in equilibrium with the unabsorbed hydrogen molecule and metal surface. For an one atom, the rate of absorption is equal to Ka into P into N into 1 minus theta. Where K is the rate constant for adsorption, P is the pressure of the gas, N is the total number of uh, sites, theta is the fraction of surface sites occupied. Here we have uh, two atoms of hydrogen molecules, so R is equal to Ka into P into N square into 1 minus theta whole square. Similarly, the rate of uh, desorption is equal to Kd into N square into theta square. At equilibrium, the rate of adsorption is equal to rate of desorption. Now, we equ equate these two equation, we get a new equation. In this equation, we have common N square, cancel out this N square. We get K into P into 1 minus theta whole square is equal to theta square. Where k is a new rate constant, that value is ka divided by kd. By solving this equation, we get a theta value of root of kp divided by root of kp plus 1. The question is, if the pressure of H2 is small, the fraction of the surface covered by hydrogen is proportional to. If the pressure is small this term that is root kp value becomes negligible so theta value is equal to root of kp so theta is directly proportional to root p that is p power 1 by 2 now we check the answer in these options the third option having p power 1 by 2 so third option is the correct answer thank you